Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the MS Excel Power Query tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to find the difference between the number of days, the current date to previous date using Excel Power Query. So let's start the tutorial. Now let's check the final output. I'm entering some new dates here. Fifth December 2022 20, 2022 and 03 03 December 2022 and 07 November 2022. Now here I have entered some new dates here. New dates. Now I want to get the number of dates between the current date and the given date. So for that we have already created the query, we don't require to do anything. Once we enter the date here, go to data, refresh all. That's it. Here we got the number of dates between the current date, today's date. Today's date is the 7th December 2022. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Notice on my Excel sheet in column A, I got some dates here. Now my aim is I want to get the difference between this given date to uh, the current date. What is the current date is 7th December 2022. For that I am using a power query. So in order to create a power query, first we need to go to the date option here and the menu bar click that one. The date select the fun table click the fun table the range we have to select it it's selected the range if not selected select the range my table is headers of course it's a uh, check mark is here the date is a header click ok notice once i click ok it redirects to the power query editor and the column is added here and also if you notice here we have just entered the date only but we got the time also here so first we need to delete this time for that we need to change the date format see here the small icon to this column click that one go to date select the date replace current here we got only the dates here now after that we will add a new column for the current date, the today's date. For that, on the menu bar, there is an add column here. Click that one in the add column, custom column I am adding here. A custom column name is a today's date, today's date. And the formula is, today's date is a column header name. And the formula is date time dot date and date time and date time time dot now method that's it once we enter this formula click ok uh, what something went wrong here local now sorry local now click ok so now here we got the date here 7th of December 2022 which is the today's date 7th of December the current date now we need to get the difference between the given dates and the today's date always remember the today's date the current date must be greater than the given date then only we will get the results in positive results we get if the current date is lesser than the given date, we'll get the negative number of days we, we, we get. So now let's find out the difference between the today's date and the given date. First select the today's date. Select the today's date first, then control. Next second, we need to select the given date. First select the today's date, then select the given dates from Excel sheet. After that, in the add column menu bar, in the ribbon notice the last one is a date and time for date and time option here. Click the date one here. Date, subtract days here. Here we got the subtract dates. Now change this heading to 
from subtraction to difference and difference between between days today's today uh, difference between number of days let's say number of days uh, difference between days and uh, that's it now before loading this data if you notice the today's date column the data type is not in a date format here if you notice this is a date format here it's not in a date form but here we got the date here notice what will happen will once we load this data on our excel sheet go to home close and load load close and load to i'm selecting the table and i want to load this data the excel power query data on the existing sheet only so i'm selecting the existing sheet and the range i'm selecting from c1 here i want to load click okay load and after query is executed successfully notice the date is showing some numbers here but if you check the query editor is showing the dates here so we need to convert the date uh, data type to a proper date format so select this icon click that one click the date icon now we have converted the data type to the date format after that close and load see here we got the now proper we got the date properly now let's check the final output i'm entering some new dates here 5th december 2022 20, 20, 20, and 03 03 december 2022 and 07 November 2022 now here I have entered some new dates here new dates now I want to get the number of dates between the current date and the given date so for that we have already created the query we don't require to do anything once we enter the date here go to data refresh all that's it here we got the number of dates between the current date today's day today's date is the 7th december 2022 that's it in this video tutorial i have explained how to get the number of days calculate the number of days between the today's date the current date and the given date thanks for watching this video tutorial please subscribe share and leave your valuable comment we'll catch you in my next video tutorial